What's good people, it's your boy that Black Camper, I'm back on a mic. Wanna go ahead and tell you guys thanks so much for the previous support that you gave me on our last Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse 2 discussion video. If you missed that the discussion video, the link to that will be in the description down below so you can check that out. And today what I basically want to talk about our pre-order bonuses or the DLC. Now if you did know, we are getting a pre-order bonus which is Goku Black, Black Goku, whatever you refer to him as. And if you go ahead and get the season pass, you will get early access to adult future trunks. And he's going to be available in the game if you just play the game throughout, apparently. But you get early access to the character uh, if you get the season pass. And here's the thing, and people ask me, you know, on Twitter and on social networks and stuff like that, how do I feel about this? And, well, I understand the significance of a pre-order bonus because a lot of people, including myself, were kind of iffy about or kind of really wondering, are super characters going to be in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2? And I, to my acknowledgement, like I said, adult... Future Trunks is going to be in the game, and Black Goku. Now, Black Goku being a pre-order bonus is we are all interested in Black Goku. We all want to know the character's moveset. We all want to know what that character is basically capable of, because he's still a mystery at this specific point in time. So, everyone's curious. And I do understand that simple things such as adding Black like you, some people who don't understand how stuff works, how copyright and and namesake stuff works even if black goku may just be goku's model with a long sleeve black shirt change his gi up and etc it may be simple like to just make black goku but to have him in the game you have to the, the nemco bandai and so and, and you know and people who make toy animation everyone you have to go through a bunch of loops and a bunch of of a lot of legal stuff to basically just to have that character in the game so black goku being a pre-order bonus i mean i'm sorry being a uh yeah pre-order game to get him i can understand that now if you did know in previous xenoverse super saiyan 4 vegeta was a pre-order bonus and for some strange reason nemco bandai never just released him now look man like realistically it's a company they're gonna they're, they're aiming to make money I don't understand why they never released Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta to the public and I don't know what they're gonna do about Black Goku I would just assume that eventually he will be after maybe a month or two but I know a lot of people can't pre-order games a lot of people get lucky with the games they get I was lucky when I was a freaking a teenager to get the games I get you know now I'm like an adult now but in those times it was hard and like since Black Goku is a mystery at this point in time I can understand the need and want to see what that character is capable of doing. And like I said, as far as pre-orders and stuff like that goes, I understand me. There are other pre-order bundles you get, such as an awesome Goku action figure and a booklet. I don't really care about that, but there are other amazing things. If you're if you're if you're actually curious about that, I'll put a link where they're actually showing the pre-order bonuses for that. But as far as Black Goku goes and that pre-order situation goes i can understand companies doing what they do but i do believe that black goku should become a downloaded character when everything is said and done don't do like you did super saiyan 4 vegeta and you guys don't know super saiyan super oh, vegeta period is my favorite dragon ball z character so i mean hey that was my fault but i was under the impression that maybe just maybe he was going to become available to download like any other character but apparently he never did and it kind of pissed me off a little bit, but you know, it is what it is, it is what it ain't. And he was, you know, it was cool to have just Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. You know, if you know, if you don't like GT, I guess you don't really care. I care, but it is what it is. And that was just my two cents about that. I mean, I know a lot of people were kind of iffy and angry about that, and I, and I can see remotely where you're coming from in that situation. I was kind of pissed about that too. But as far as DLC goes, since these are super characters and since we don't know if any other super characters are going to be in this game, I'm hoping that there's going to be more super characters. Honest to God, I am. And if there isn't, Black Goku is kind of enough for me right now. Well, really, no, he, he's not. I, I need all of them. I, I want all of them in there. But you let me know how you think and what you feel about this specific situation. Anyway, if you want to go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when I do Dragon Ball Z, Z Xenoverse 2 discussions, they're usually up every Tuesday if you aren't aware, but if you want to go ahead and be notified or go ahead and just 
you just want to be known when I do them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to help your boy have a hidden like button. It helps out a tons. Great, you know, supports the series greatly. I love to hear what you guys think about this particular situation on this channel. Later, guys. Hope you have an amazing weekend, SpongeBob day, whatever time you're doing this video. Stay blessed. Stay cool. You know I love you. Have an amazing day. Layer the Banana Nation.